Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the proxy program that I use. Now, um, people are increasingly using um, proxies <coughs> on the internet for a couple of reasons, really. Um, the first is um, security. Um, uh, using a proxy adds a level of security onto your browsing. Um, it stops all the websites you visit recording information about you and logging data about your activities. And it stops um, logs being created about your online activity in um, your ISP as well. <coughs> um, now, the other reason um, is because proxies enable you to access the increasingly number of websites that are blocked to people around the world. Um, there are now hundreds of thousands of websites which actually block access based on your location. So, for instance, if you're, you can't access the BBC iPlayer um, outside the UK, or you can't access programs like Hulu or Pandora and stuff if you're outside the US. Um, using a proxy correctly, you can actually get around that. Um, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration here anyway. <coughs> right. Just to show you, if I go to Hulu, I'm in the UK at the moment, uh, Hulu will look up my IP address when I connect and it will see I'm in the UK and I'll get this message. You'd get this message wherever you are outside the US, um, if you're in Australia or anywhere in Europe, whatever. You'd get this sorry message and you won't be able to access anything. Okay, um, now I'm going to show you how I start my proxy program. Uh, now it sits in the taskbar here, it's called Identity Cloaker. And what it basically does is gives me access to um, hundreds of servers all over the world uh, that I can connect to. Now, it's actually a lot more sophisticated than proxies. These are really VPN servers, which is basically like a proxy, but it adds a level of encryption as well, which gives you even more security. Um, in fact, um, Hulu won't work with a normal bog standard proxy. You need a VPN. Hulu can detect uh, a proxy. Okay, so I'm going to, for this demonstration, I'm going to connect via a, an American server. So I just click, select one of the American servers there, and I press connect. <coughs> I've had to blur these out because it's best to keep these quiet. And I've now got uh, uh, an encrypted tunnel to an identity cloaker server in New Jersey. So effectively, I've now got an American IP address. So when I go to um, one of the sites, Let's go to Hulu. Uh, this time, Hulu will look up my connection and it will see I'm in the US. Or it will see the uh, IP address of the, um, the US proxy server. This time, you can see it's going to um, play the content as normal, just showing the adverts. And then you can watch, you can watch uh, the whole program just like uh, um, as if you were in the US without any problems at all. It also works on NBC, ABC, or uh, HBO, all the American-only things. Now, if I wanted to um, watch a media channel in Germany or Poland or Australia, Canada, i just select one of the other servers. Identicloak comes with all these different servers all across the world. Um, you just select the right country. i better stop this. Um, and... It's very simple to use. Um, there's a discount code for it there if you want to try it out yourself. Um, there are others available, and there are, in fact, free ones. But unless it's a one-off, um, using a free proxy server, there are lots of security risks. You don't know who controls them. Some are run by hackers and identity thieves. They're also extremely slow, so you can't really watch video on them unless you are lucky enough to find a really fast one. But the problem is, because they're free, and they're really f any really fast one will be overloaded, usually within the hour. But they are available. So just search for free proxies, or there's a, um, a program called, uh, site called Proxy.org that's got a list of free ones. Give those a try if you prefer. Okay, well, thanks for listening, and I hope you've enjoyed it. My video on the proxy program I use. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.